So let's look at another sequence here from Mergali versus Dylan Danis, where he does a nice transition from far side collar sleeve to De La Hiva X and sweeps. Okay, so here Mergali's playing collar sleeve on the right side, which is the I usually call it far side collar sleeve. It's just when you're attacking the side that's farthest away from you, as opposed to here Mergali could have the sleeve of the side of the leg he's leading with, which would be a little bit different. So when you attack the far side, your opponent's elbow usually isn't as tight because it's far away, so you can attack the omoplata and triangle easier. What happens in this case though is uh, Danis puts his right knee up at the center. It's a very common response. So what Mergali uses this as a way to segue to a really Really deep daily heave hook. So he takes that left foot off the shoulder bicep and now he can start threading it into a really deep De La Hiva here. From here he goes straight to the De La Hiva X position and now he has a cross collar and this far sleeve making it really easy to four bump him forward to take the sweep and come up on top here. So Mergali's playing with this far side collar sleeve here with the left foot and the bicep, the cross collar and the sleeve here. So here it's easy to attack the omoplata and triangle because this elbow is usually removed. So often people will put this right knee in the way to kind of defend that. But often what that allows is for this deep De La Hiva hook to come in. So Mergali lets go of this cross collar grip and he switches to the ankle to, to deep lace this left foot and now the right foot butterfly hooks. From here he can sit up and now he goes back to the collar and pulls, which pulls his balance in. And as I drive forward with my left knee, I can easily knock this guy over, come up on top, and you have a great position. Often you can even pass from here really easily.